Hey everybody, this is Carl Sheffield. I'm a product manager here at Squid, working on the user success and evangelism team. And in this video, we're gonna talk about another dynamic model condition. This one is a condition based on user attribute. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do from Squid Central is to take a look at the finished, um, the finished product that we're gonna work from. So I'm going to all pages, and then I'm gonna go find this page here. We'll preview it so you'll get an idea of what it's looking at. So we have a table component on the bottom of the half, uh, bottom half of the page, and it's just showing uh, users from our Salesforce data source, and then the top half says Salesforce running user, and that has just one record on it, and that is um, using the source model that we're going to use um, with a condition that's dynamically uh, applied. So let's get started. Let's go back to the page list. And what I want to do is just, I'm going to start from this page here and I'm going to make a clone of this page. So I'm going to clone the page and I'm gonna change my name to just build01. I'll click cloned, create cloned page, and then I'll open that cloned page. And just so I don't get confused, I'm gonna close my other tab here. Um, now, this page has one model and it has one uh, table. So what we wanna do, first of all, is just take a quick shortcut and clone the first model. So I'm going to click this button here that clones the model. I get an automatic uh, default model that is an exact copy of the first model. And now I'm going to change the model ID of this one. I'm going to call this uh, filtered by user ID. All right, now that we have that model ID changed, um, we want to add a condition on this model. So I'm gonna click conditions and then click the plus button to start with a condition. So this condition is gonna be dynamic based on whoever's logged in to Salesforce. Um, so let's start, first of all, at the field uh, grouping. Here's the field that we want to go find. We want to go find user ID. It's way down at the bottom, user ID. Now, we can keep our default for operator. The user ID is, and then let's take a look at the value selection for content. Um, in this, Squid has some powerful features that allow you to build co um, conditions dynamically based on other things. And in this example, we're gonna use a user attribute from Salesforce. Um, and then once we select that, that user attribute that we're wanting is just set there as default, but let's take a look at the different types we could find. We could use the user role ID or a profile name, profile ID. Um, for this example, we're gonna use user ID. And let's click save. Now that we have a, a a user list unfiltered model that we started with and now that we've added a clone of that model that has a condition on it the next thing we want to do is um, find a way to surface that data on our page what I'm gonna do is go down and select this table component and I'm gonna click clone on the table component what that does is it adds a clone of the first um, the first table that we had and it, and it makes an exact copy um, on this top table now since they're both the same I'm going to change the title um, of this top table component to sales force running user and I'm going to go make sure I spell correctly Salesforce now the the next thing I'm gonna do is change the model that this table component uses. So from the model field in the properties, I'm gonna pick user list 
filtered. Now I'll click save and click preview. And we'll see what we get. So we have a uh, Salesforce running user table now, and it only has one row because of the condition that we created. And also you can see that the user and ID is the same. All right, that's it for this. This is a summary, um, just a really quick look at using a dynamic model condition that's based on a Salesforce running user attribute. Very powerful stuff. Look forward to seeing you in another video in this Squid Basics series. Thanks a lot, have a good day.